So I wanted to ask you something about yeah. um, like your creative process. Yeah. Because I know I, I watch through your stories like all yeah. the time on Instagram. <laughs> and I love when you ask people like what kind of scenes they want to see mm-hmm. next. And it's hilarious because they'll ask you for like cheerleader and you've already done it. And yeah. like therapist already done. <laughs> like math teacher. Like it's insane. Yeah. Like how you've already like really paved a great roadmap and a great collection for yourself. Thank you. So how do you avoid, because I know you mentioned this also as like a Delulu, is like the creative slumps. Yeah. So what, what do you say, like, or how do you come up with your ideas and how do you avoid the burnout that we all dread? I think, okay, so like something about what I do that I think is kind of interesting and not a lot of people know unless mm. they would watch it, which I wouldn't expect for anybody who, like, knows me to watch it. Is Top <laughs> secret. Here we go. The deep Top secret. Top. The deep secret. But I, I like taking things that are very stereotypically, like, tropes and then putting some sort of twist on it or making mm. something crazy happen in mm. my videos, even for, like, a minute, where people are like, what is happening? Mm-hmm. Like, I have, I have one where I get stuck in a washing machine. And yes. Yes. And then instead of getting stuck in a washing machine, I go all the way into the washing machine and then I go into a washer void. And there's like (laughs) Oh my god. We like rented out like a white room like with an infinity wall and I'm like in this room and there's like a uh the washer god who's like talking to me. Stop like how do I get out of here? And he's like, the only way to get out of here is to do this act. And I'm like, well, I already kind of wanted to. So Yeah, great. oh my gosh. But I'll add these like really funny little moments. Uh-huh. I just did one where Uh-oh. we had this thought where like, what if you, I'm trying to think of a censored word. Oh. What if you finished so hard that you went to a different dimension? Oh my God. So we okay. made like a whole video <laughs> based on traveling to a different dimension yes oh my god yes (laughs) so so that's like a huge thing for me is I'm like I really enjoy putting these like strange moments in what I do because that's what inspires me I'm really into sci-fi okay I'm really into storytelling I'm really into I don't know anything surreal like I love having any sort of moment in there that I'm like I want someone to be watching this and be like I'm really turned on, but also confused. <laughs> yeah. And it makes them remember what I do. Because they're, yes. like, they're like, oh, there's something more to this plot. There's like a little bit more heart in it. Mm-hmm. You know? And so I really enjoyed doing that. Like, that's that's what keeps me the most inspired. Is I'm like, okay, sometimes I do normal things. Okay, yeah. It doesn't always have to be a crazy element. Mm-hmm. But it's those little moments that just, that. I yeah. love, I love just being able to like make something more. Out yeah. Of that, I guess. That's dope. Add Thank some you. seasoning to it so it's yeah. not just the same tr- – because we've all seen the tropes on Pub right. where it's like pizza girl delivers the pizza, yeah. we let her in, and then, you know, like it's the same scenario, just different girl time to time. Exactly. Or a different guy. Or a different guy or whatever. But I, I really feel so passionately that like a lot of the – corn these days has like mm-hmm. lost a lot of the substance in it in the sense of like it is just the same thing over and over and does that still sell mm-hmm. is that a negative thing I don't think those are negative things but no. I do like to do things a little bit differently and like mm-hmm. on my own terms because that's what I find motivating and inspiring yeah and it, that brings me a lot of joy and I'm like I the best feeling in the whole world is knowing that someone watched my video and it made them feel good they mm-hmm. knew it was like ethical and made from people who actually you know like you're consenting to be there yeah and it's funny and it made them laugh and if I can do those three those things all at once yeah then it's like that's the best thing ever if I can make someone laugh when they go to you know (laughs) tug it yeah that's because that's my favorite kind of moment when I'm having intimacy is when I'm laughing Mm, with the person that I care about and I'm like I want to provide that same feeling for people I love that thank you I love that different perspective on the (laughs) corn industry yeah because I I feel like I get trapped in this box a lot on Instagram when Mm -hmm. I ask people like ask me a question the thing that they always ask is like will I dive into corn it's kind of their Mm -hmm. main objective Mm -hmm. and it almost feels like they want me to put down women, men who do. Mm -hmm. Like there's this weird like ulterior motive with when they ask me that. Mm -hmm. So I always try to say like, no, that's not as far as I want to go, that that's not, it's not the content that I would enjoy making. And I know that for a fact because I stuck my big toe in the water and went, this isn't for me. And then I usually have to backpedal and put up another slide just Mm -hmm. being like, 
for the record, I have no issue with yeah. people who decide to do, to I go further than me. Is, it's great. Yeah. Which I appreciate that. And I think that's wonderful. Mm-hmm. I think there's, a, it's really strange in this realm. Yes. Um, as someone who used to be someone who only did very mild content and now does everything and kind of seeing the way that certain different types of creators like treat you around mm. that and keeping in check I guess like I don't know I'm can I say can I say horky what? I don't even know what that means sure <laughs> it's like the uh it's like okay but horarchy like who is a bigger at, at oh, the end of the day like hierarchy so, hierarchy, yeah, but, hierarchy with but with got hierarchy. it okay so like a lot of people will have <laughs> this um idea of like um well I don't show as much as you do so mm-hmm. I'm not as bad as you oh and so or you know a lot of people can kind of have this mentality or I'll meet other creators and things like that and they'll think that I won't want to work with them or whatever or like oh you know she's kind of crazy or whatever and mm. it's like no that's not the case and it's also not the case for people who do more to look down at all on people who do less it's like we're all yeah. at the end of the day we're all just doing what we're comfortable with mm-hmm. and that should be it and it's it, that's it yeah. like that's wonderful we should all be like supporting each other mm-hmm. and be happy that everyone in our community is able to abide by their own boundaries yeah and 100%. I think that's a beautiful thing that's a huge new thing for this era of yeah the content that mm-hmm. we do because it used to not be this way no you would have to work for a company and yeah I've told this story thousands of times on this show but like when I started you would get paid for a day right and mm-hmm. you would take a bunch of photos and a bunch of video and you would sign away your rights yeah and like these companies are still selling my image from when I was like 18 um and I don't blame them like the more popular I get or any creator gets, of course, they're going to keep selling things. But that was the only way to be successful at first. Mm-hmm. So you can find me on like four different websites that I shot content with and how much have they made off it versus how much I made off it. Mm-hmm. And the fact that they can sell it forever is like a little crazy. Mm-hmm. So it's great now that we're in this era of this is why I'm so grateful for Only Flapjacks mm-hmm. is because you get to consent to the content you want to make and you're not limited by a dollar amount and you, it's up to you. Yeah. All on the creator, yeah. what they want to do with mm-hmm. it. And you're not answering to a person. And if you decide you want to quit tomorrow, you, you can. can delete it. Yep. There's not a person still selling your image years later. Mm-hmm. That's It's huge. And I yeah. think being able to like have that kind of like taking the power back mm-hmm. is brilliant. Yeah. I think it's wonderful. 